What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jay Jone, and I am back with another video. And if you already see about the title today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed this wig from Arabella Hair. Today, we have a loose, deep 28-inch wig, and y'all, this hair is just so, so pretty. I didn't even really have to do anything to it. I just kind of took it out of the box, customized it, and really rocked the natural curl pattern without manipulating it too much. If you guys want to see how I installed this wig, please stay tuned. Like I said, everything about this hair was so pretty. It's so effortless. And one thing that I liked is that the hair came really dark. Most wigs come with a brown tint to it. But this wig looked relatively black, which I was really, really feeling. So get into the hair, get into the length, get into the curls. It was given, period. So this is everything that Arabella sent over. They sent over a wig band, which is very helpful in the wig installation process. A edge brush, and they also sent over some HD wig caps, which are my faves, and lashes, which I do not use. I decline. <laughs> but to start out, I am going to do my bald cap method using my Erica J glue. You're just going to do a thin layer of glue across your cap. And that is just going to make sure that it stays in place and don't go anywhere. And if I have a lisp, it's because I have my retainers in, so please ignore it. But yeah, so here I'm just applying makeup, smoothing that on out, smooth, smooth, smooth. And then when that is dry, I can go ahead and cut it. So this is the construction of this wig. It is an air lace wig, meaning that you are able to breathe and these wigs are open. Therefore, it's easier to have your scalp breathe and just have a little air circulate more so than a traditional wig. I really, really love these wigs because they come pretty much made. And I bleached your knots, but I didn't have to bleach your knots because surprisingly, this wig came slightly already bleached. I just prefer a more blonde look, which is why I went back in. But here I'm going ahead and I'm going to start applying my layers of glue to adhere the lace to my skin. So I'm going on my Erica J in light layers and all you have to do is smooth that out as you go on and on and on. And yeah. After applying about two or three layers, I go ahead and I start going ahead and putting the lace into the wig. This is the most tedious part, especially with HD lace. HD lace has a tendency to scrunch up being that it's so thin. So you have to be very, very careful with your placement because it can go very, very left very fast. So make sure that you're stretching it out to make sure that it is, has no wrinkles in it and pressing it into the glue and this is going to make sure that it stays exactly the way that you want it to stay versus kind of doing its own thing and i'm going to go on the other side literally just place it down side by side starting with the middle first and this is going to how you get the perfect placement every single time
once I place that wig down to go ahead and melt it, I'm going to apply my elastic melt band. And I'm just going to tie that as tight as I can take. And I'm going to let that set for 15-20 minutes. And then when it is done or I feel like I'm ready to take it off, I go ahead and take it off. And I start cutting that lace off. You can apply more makeup or hairspray as needed. You may not need it. You may do. It just depends. But as y'all see, it is melted. That is what I love about HD lace. It just gives a flawless finish every single time. So this is kind of what we're working with after everything. Y'all see, it's still cute. I could do a no baby hair look, but this is curly hair, and I feel like the bigger the better. And the more extra, the more better. So I wanted to do baby hairs with this. I'm kind of falling out of baby hairs, honestly, though. Personally, I prefer, like, if I wear a middle part, like, straight, no baby hairs. Side part, I'll do a little swoop. But baby hairs are really not my forte anymore more so with curly hair but all around not feeling the vibes that's just me though So right here, I was just deciding how I want to style the hair. I was just playing in it, but I opted for a middle part. I just figured that would be easier. So I went ahead and pulled me down some baby hairs. I'm going to pluck those. Then I'm going to razor them off, which means make them up. Before I do that, I do tie it down again. That's just to further melt the hair with the baby hairs. This is just extra step that you don't have to take, but I do recommend it. And so here I'm just cutting off the baby hairs and because they're to, to the length that i want them to be then i'm gonna curl them curl them up with my pencil flat irons these are the best flat irons for your edges not baby hairs because y'all be throwing shade when i say baby hairs edges edge hot comb um flat iron and then i'm just gonna swoop them with some hairspray and a little bit of gel this is all about preference depending on how you like it you'll do it your way but this is how i do it and I did a little extra curly swirly in the side because I just thought, why not? With curly hair, I think this could be very, very cute. So I did, ended up doing the style, but I ended up taking it out. It was cute, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like middle parts and curly hair and me don't get along. I like a side part with curly. But this is how everything came out. Major shout out to Arabella for sponsoring this video. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Also, all links will be in the description box below as usual. Bye.